What's up YouTube, Ian Sandusky back here again with the Let's Machine. Today we're going to go through how to do some really basic stuff, namely how to use an edge finder inside a vertical melt. Um, if you've ever done this before with a manual melt, this is the exact same thing, works the exact same way. Um, if you've never done this before, make sure you get somebody to show you how to properly use all the jog, jog functions in your machine so you don't end up smashing something, okay? Make sure also, if you've never done this before, you probably want to do this with somebody who knows what they're doing, supervising you, just for the first time, okay? Let's go grab an edge finder, let's take a look at this. So this here is our edge finder inside a uh, ER40 taper, or sorry, 40 taper, ER40 call it, uh, maybe an ER25. Regardless, this is our edge finder. I'm sure you've seen these before. Most importantly, when you use these, these have to be clean. If these are dirty, if there's a lot of oil inside here, they're not gonna work very well. An easy way to clean out the oil from in there to make sure everything's nice and clean, grab a piece of paper. Now you never wanna bend these, there's a spring in here, eh? You never wanna bend these too hard or they won't be very accurate anymore. So just very lightly separate it. You can take a piece of paper in there and just run it. See how there's oil on there now? Do that a few times just to make sure there's no crap in there. You know, just a little bit. Secondly, I want to make sure that my edge finder is chucked up in the collet. This is just inside a spring collet, nice and tight. Um, you just want to make sure it's chucked up nice and far. These should be precision ground the whole way. Um, if it's not brand new, someone may have smashed it on you before. So it's good to chuck it up so this to this is as concentric as possible, okay? Once we have this, we're gonna put it inside the machine. Um, I always put all my tool holders uh, with a edge finder in them in the highest tool in the machine, in the carousel. I always put them in 25 or 20. That way if I ever need them, type in tool 20 or T25, whatever the top tool number is, it comes out, okay? So go to your MDI screen, pop it in. Now, I'll show you what we're gonna do on our MDI screen. Here personally, we go on our MDI screen, G54, that's my offset. Um, you don't really have to have that in there, you could just have S1000, M03. Uh, some machines you can just even put in S1000. I put in G54, S1000, M03, so I know what offset I'm going into just mentally. S1000 is how fast I want to spin it. That's how fast I want to spin an edge finder. You never want to spin it too, too fast. Um, they will get all screwed if you spin them at like three to 5,000. M03 means program continue. So after I press this, uh, my machine is cold, that's fine. I go over here, and my edge finder is spinning. So now, all I'm gonna do is I want my zero to be the edge of this jaw and the edge of my stop. My jaw is nice and clean, my stop is nice and clean. I'm gonna handle jog this down. Again, be very careful. I don't wanna crash this into anything. Wear your safety glasses. So I'm just gonna get it close. Wear your safety glasses when you do this. Do as I say, not as I do. Now, we're just gonna get this nice and close. I put this on 1,000 increments as I get close. I bring it in. What I'm looking for is for that thing to stop spinning off center. When I see it stop spinning off center, I know I'm close. So all I do is keep moving it slow, one click at a time, one click, boom. You'll see it kick out like that, all right? I'll get the camera in closer there so you can see it happen. Ready? So see how it's spinning nice and central up there in the corner of your screen? All I'm gonna do is keep moving it and you'll see it kick out. Ready? Come on, there it is, see? See it kick out? Once it kicks out like that, I know that I am at the edge of the part. So all I'm gonna do is jog this up. I know I'm at the edge. This edge finder has a 200 thou tip. So I wanna move it over half the diameter of that tip. Because right now, the edge of this is perfectly on there. I wanna be on the center of it, right? Because I want my spindle put, uh, position completely over that jaw. So let's get moving over that direction. I'll show you how I do that. So I know where I am here, right? I go to my position screen, operator. This is in the Y direction. I select the Y, origin. So I know that that is zero. I want to move that back 100 thou now. So what I'm going to do is Y, positive 100, 
origin. Now, I go in here, I go into my screens, do, 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 do. offset. Right now, in our position, our Y is at zero. We know that is right over the edge of that jaw. Go to my offset, G54 is what I want to use. All I'm going to do, uh, part zero set down here. Part zero set, watch this offset. Bink, automatically changes. That's actually where I last had a, a part in there, and that was my zero, so it uh, reset there. But look, if I make this zero, F1, and I go part zero set, bam. You can see that automatically selects where I want, okay? Really easy. Um, again, make sure you're always really careful that I'm moving on just one thou increments, not 100 thou increments, okay? So that now is perfectly over the edge of this jaw. All right? So there you have it, guys. There's a quick and easy way on how to set a zero using an edge finder inside a vertical melt. Um, you know, if you want, what you can do is you can pick up one side of something, raise it up, pick up the other side of something, divide it in two, bingo, you're right in the middle. Now you know in the middle of your part. Um, you can pick up the edges of things. There's a lot of different ways to set your zeros. Um, you scribe it on and just align it, you know, for some really rough jobs. Whatever works. This is how to do it with an edge finder um, and then how to put it in your offset screen, okay? If you have any questions, make sure you can always email me or leave them uh, in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you very much for hanging out with me, guys. You take care.